Hi, my name is Tommy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's look at the latest news from Latin America. Last Saturday was assassinated a Paraguayan in a moving bus bound to Paraguay. The attack occurred in Chajari, Argentina, on a bus connected Buenos Aires with Asuncion. The locality is halfway on the route following the river and the border with Uruguay. The local police found bullets on the scene. The investigation is underway to determine the reasons for this attack. On Tuesday, the Brazilian police recommended inculpation for ex-president Jair Bolsonaro over fake COVID vaccination cards. At the end of his mandate, he did travel overseas, mostly in the United States, while measures were in place to control the propagation of the coronavirus. He also stated multiple times that he was not vaccinated for this, as he did not believe in the benefit of it. The authorities are saying that enough to charge him, while his lawyer thinks the case should be classified. He testified earlier in court about the matter and his house was verified. It is a news in progress. On Wednesday in Cordoba, Argentina, a 13 years old boy was found in a freezer was still alive when he was taken out. The child was rushed to the hospital after a cardiac arrest and unfortunately did not survive. Authorities and the family are looking on why he was hiding there. They think he might have been a social media challenge. The great-grandmother, who was living on the top floor of the family home, died upon hearing the news on the radio. On Thursday in Paraguay was organized the 30th March for the agricultural workers. Paraguayans gathered on the main square, close to most of the ministries and the presidential palace. They were present, again, to signal the injustice they are suffering and to denounce the instrumentalization of the politicians and their ministries. After rumors of Neymar's father paying the caution, Dani Alves will stay incarcerated in Spain, at least for this weekend. Alves, who last played in Mexico in 2023, was accused of rape and found guilty. However, going on an appeal, he could have been liberated while waiting for his new trial. It is not the first time that Neymar Sr. is helping or try to help Alves. He admitted in January to have paid money for Danny Alves' lawyer's fees, which accounted for 150,000 euros at the time. Thanks for watching, and see you next Friday for another video.